Hello world, it is Monday, October 12th. It's kind of overcast this morning, I just noticed it. It was dark when I went running this morning. Beautiful morning for running, because it was in the 50s and a uh, slight breeze out. Um, it felt good to be outside. I heard someone say there might be some rain today, so if you can get out before the rain or after the rain, get out and enjoy some of the outdoors. I'm going to be reading a devotion today from the book Rise Up, Spirituality for Resistance. And the devotion I've selected was written by uh, Elsa Cox, and it's entitled Come By Here. And it's based upon Psalm 33, verse 22. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. And Elsa writes, in our conversation with Krista Tippett, Dr. Vincent Harding scoffed at the jokes that get made about Kumbaya. This song calls him back to the, that Mississippi summer when he gathered with students and countless others in the midst of a civil rights movement. Risks were taken, arrests were made, people were killed. It was then that Robert Moses got up and spoke to the fears of these trainees. To this mostly white audience, he told them it was okay to pack up and go home. He was glad that they had come this far. There would be no shame in leaving, but he told them to think about it. Dr. Harding remembered moving among those groups of students, listening to the conversations. And what he heard were not calls home as had been suggested, but the longing prayer of that hymn. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Somebody's missing, Lord, come by here. We all need you, Lord, come by here. The Lord looks down from heaven, it says in this old song, and sees all humankind. God knows it all, all while we can only hope. God knows it all while we can only hope. And it can be ridiculous that hope can feel impossible and maybe even more absurd than sitting around a campfire singing Kumbaya. But in that old songbook of the church, hope is more than issues and ideas. Hope is where we find God. Hope is where we realize that someone is missing, someone is crying. We need to find our hope in God and ask the Lord to come by here. Elsa's prayer. Sing with us, O God. We all need you, Lord. Come by here. I think it's an important devotional for today, especially in the midst of the pandemic and, and in the midst of um, uh, all the uh, the uprisings and the protests uh, concerning Black Lives Matter is church should be a source of hope, but not just for the people within the walls, but the people in the world. <clears throat> and the people within the church, I think, ought to be looking for the way they can bring God's presence to the world, where they can listen for the people who uh, may be missing or listen for the people who may be crying and look to find out why they're missing and why those that are crying are crying and what can be done to change this world. This is an effort that is part of our life and what we are called to do when we are the church. So I think it's good to sing the song, Come By Here, Lord. But when the Lord comes, and we're filled with hope, we need to take it out into the world, too. So think about that. Pray about it. Ask the Lord to come by here to where you are so that you can understand your part in helping to work alongside God in building God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Because it's more than about just what's going to happen to us in the next life. It's how we work with God to, uh, to bring heaven to earth as well and listen to the people at the margins and those who are suffering and do what we can to bring hope. I'll talk to you again tomorrow, and I hope you have a good day.